What is up, people? Um, I'm guessing if you're anything like me, you probably struggle to remember to do absolutely everything and like you're super busy and you hate like bits slipping between the cracks and dropping balls and all sorts of stuff like that. So uh, today's thing that I'm gonna show you is just a very simple tool which I use um, in order to manage um, my activities uh, that I've uh, set up for myself in order to achieve my goals, to manage my activities so that I don't forget anything um, you know, because let's face it, um, uh, I'm not superhuman and probably left to my own devices, nothing would ever get done because I'd just be like, oh, well, I didn't write down what, what, uh, what didn't write down my to-do list, therefore nothing needs to get done and so nothing ever gets done. Uh, it kind of doesn't even really make any sense. So, um, uh, so what I've done is I've kind of, um, created a series of activities, um, in my business, which are things which are kind of urgent and need to get done now, things which need to get done on a daily basis, things which need to get on a weekly, done on a weekly basis, and things which need to get on a, uh, done on a monthly basis. And then I use a little app called Todoist, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, that's Todoist, so no, no L in it, Todoist. Um, and basically I, I put all of my to-do items into to -do, Todoist and um, it's a super effective way of organizing my time and the things that I've got to do. So let me just jump across onto the screencast again. So as you can see, this is Todoist. So the website is just todoist.com and I'll put a link somewhere in the post um, attached to this video. And then basically in here, you can see all of the stuff. I've got a ton of stuff to do today. Monday is always my busiest day because all I do is I'll, um, if I don't get something done the week before, I'll just move everything onto Monday and then I'll organize all my time from there. But if I zoom out, so this is all the stuff to do today. Uh, if I scroll down here, actually, then it starts to look a little bit more organized. So I have a few things which I do on a daily basis, a weekly basis, and a monthly basis. So as you can see, for example, I've got check Insightly tasks. That's um, Insightly is my CRM, customer relationship management tool, which I may do a video about at some point in the future. Um, but that's just to, to log in and check my CRM daily, just to make sure that I'm up to date with all of the leads which I've got going uh, on, new prospects and things like that. Um, and like the cool thing about Insightly or any kind of CRM is that um, provided I remember to log in and do it, uh, in Insightly I've got a whole list of tasks within Insightly which is just for following up on prospects and existing clients. Um, so, um, but because I have it in, now you'll see there's a little, um, uh, sort of circular um, arrow thing going on underneath this task. So I've actually got this in here as uh, every workday. So every um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this will pop up. So if I were to um, tick uh, this box here, so check in slightly tasks, you'll see that it moves it straight into Wednesday down here. And if I tick it there, it will move it down into Thursday now, and so so on and so forth. Got a couple of other things here. So Wednesday is just a reminder for my weekly call, but the reason why this one is in here is because under the comments, I've got, um, I do a Facebook Live with my weekly call with my clients, which I just cut and paste uh, that into the Facebook post so I don't have to keep on writing it out each week. Reminder to do MailChimp, uh, reminder to welcome people into um, the uh, the open Facebook group which I've got set up every Friday. So this is a weekly activity. So there it goes. Every it says every Friday. Remember to do a diary detox. This is just a process I go through just to make sure my next week's worth of activities and meetings are all categorised, laid out, um, and with travel and th time and things like that in there. A uh, few things. Just uh, this is just managing my um, my paying clients, just to make sure that uh, any that are graduating the next couple of couple of weeks, there's some reminders to go in there. So, um, so the other cool thing is we can do next thirty days. Will that come up? Will that show me all the stuff? Yeah, there we go. So here's here's a couple of monthly tasks. So just a reminder to do payroll at the end of the month, and then on the first of the month to do my expenses. Now I don't actually have that many. Um, uh, monthly tasks in there. Most of the things which I do are either daily or weekly. Uh, here we go, there's another one for weekly. Upload podcast, blog article every Monday. So how you actually add, one of the cool things is like when you actually add uh, a new task in here. So let's say for example, we were gonna do um, a new video for Fearless. And then we go every weekday. There we go. Now it's just highlighted that bit in green. So that's gonna say every weekday, or work day as they call it, so every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, it'll then create a task for this. 
So where's it gonna drop to a new video for Fearless? Dropped it into today. So if I tick that, it'll flop over onto tomorrow, etc., etc. I'm just gonna delete that. One of the cool things which um, they just added in. So this is how I'm managing the ten things um, series. It's you know short series of videos which I'm doing at the moment. So they've just added in this really cool thing where you can actually nest tasks within tasks, which is pretty cool. So I added in the ten videos that I was going to do. And I'm doing the Todoist one, so I'm actually just going to tick that one is done, and then it will drop off the list. Uh, they're all archived, just in case I want to do it again. It's this really cool thing which it's got called your productivity. Gives you um, you can uh, tell it how many tasks you want to complete each day, daily, weekly, and then there's this really cool thing called karma. So every time you complete a task, you get karma points, and then gradually your points accrue, and you get different. I'm a grand master at the moment in terms of uh, my to do stuff so i obviously get a lot of stuff done well there we go 3198 completed tasks i don't know over what period of time that is but i've got a load of points the uh the thing which is really cool because uh normally you'd have to like try and remember to check in and read this every day so i was like well that's only helpful if you can remember to actually do that so um one of the cool things that you can set up is the notifications email notifications in um uh, uh and under todoist and uh, around about 4 or 5 a.m. every single day, I get a daily summary of all of the tasks uh, which I've got to do in my to-do list that day. And provided I get this email, which I do every day, and I remember to hit view in Todoist, it will pop up, open up Todoist, and then I can just, doot, 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 just gradually work my way through uh, this list. So I've obviously done my 10 commandments task for today. So I'm actually going to move that to uh, probably Wednesday. I'll do the next one. That's fine. So I can knock that on its head. Once this video is processed, I'll post it up into the Fearless Business group uh, so that everybody can see it. And there'll be a couple of other things as well, which I can kind of tick off this list as I go through it. So, um, but, but basically, all in all, uh, this is what keeps the wheels oiled and the cogs turning in fearless business just to um, to keep me on track. And the nice thing is that even if I don't have time to do everything, I can move it across into the next day and sleep well knowing that I've got it in Todoist and that at some point I will get round to, um, to doing the things in there. Uh, obviously there are different, um, you know, various different um, to-do list type apps which you can get. I know some people try Trello, I don't really like Trello. I think it's a bit clunky and like the the way it's organized, it's probably good for like, you know, I guess project management and stuff like that. But I don't really like it for just ta basic task management. I'd suggest that if you're using a paper-based to-do list, you stop doing that and you flip over into using something like Todoist. Because there's a really handy app on here as well. So I can always just log into here and see if there are some things that I've got to do or if I'm out, out on the road or something, just, do, 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 just have a quick kind of flick through. Just make sure that I'm up to date with calling people and my tasks and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I, I know there's Google Keep, which I think has a, a task manager thing on it. And there's, there's tons of different ones. Todoist is just my favorite one. But I think the key things that you need to take away from this video are make sure that you put in daily, weekly and monthly tasks and you keep it up to date. Color code it if you can when necessary. I have all the red stuff prioritized. Um, and then make sure that you set up email notifications so you get a summary of the tasks which you've got to do for that day at least once a day because it will just remind you to log into your task manager app and do the thing. And the third thing is to just don't beat yourself up. If you don't complete all of the things in your to-do list, it doesn't really matter. Like the world's going to keep on turning. Uh, things, you know, th the business world is not going to come crashing down just because you miss a couple of things off your uh, to-do list. Um, so just keep on chipping away at it and don't worry about like, cause the, the beautiful thing is like, as I showed you, if I don't get stuff done today, I can just move it into tomorrow and know that I'll have a good go, good crack at it. And if it doesn't get done tomorrow, I can move it into Wednesday, but at least I know that it's in the to-do list. It's not going to get forgotten about. Uh, listen, I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you did, you know where to get hold of me. Shoot me any questions you've got. If you want to, I'll pop a link to, to Doist as well into the um, notes alongside this video. And um, good luck with organizing your to-do items.